I unfortunately made a huge mistake. A couple nights ago, I was doing some tank maintenance. It was dark, I wasn't wearing my glasses. It was a green stole pulchra, so an all black spider, and a black lid. So I'm sure as you can guess, uh, what happened is he had slipped his pedipalp uh, near the rim of the tank as I was closing the lid. And then um, when I closed the lid, it must have gotten caught and I knew right away what I had done because he started like, like flipping out like that. So immediately I took the lid off and he kicked hair at me and he was not happy. I looked at his pedipalp and there was just a huge drop of clear liquid, which is what tarantula blood essentially, tarantula blood, it, what it looks like. So I knew right away I needed to stop the bleed. That was like priority because um, tarantulas don't clot like we do. They don't clot like other animals do and um, they can, you know, just bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. So what I had to do was grab flour. There are so many methods, um, but flour is what I had on hand. So that's what I used. I was able to clot it onto his pedipalp with a spoon by like coming under it like this and dabbing it in. He bled for around an hour and a half, I wanna say. And first it was um, large beads of clear liquid just forming at the tip and coming off. Um, it slowed down and eventually it just kind of looked wet and the flour on it would just kind of get like gooey and wet and then come off and then I'd reapply more flour, which I did I think around three times. And at some point he decided to groom it all off of him. So the flour didn't stay on. I don't know if it helped. Um, it's just what I heard to do, so that's what I did. And um, for future reference, I'm just gonna stop here and insert this now. Cornstarch apparently is a better alternative to flour because it will clot better. Did not know that, so have cornstarch ready just in case. Um, I know people say super glue also works, but I did not have super glue, and also I heard from you know more experienced keepers. This is where I get my information. I'm just new in this, so more experienced keepers told me that super glue is more of like a last resort because it runs the risk of getting a, another, a different appendage glued to the wounded area, which would be really bad. So, um, yeah, silver nitrate's another. Didn't want to forget that. So anyway, um, what I did was use the flour. It would get gooey, come off. Eventually, it just it all came off, and it had stopped bleeding. So I went to bed. There's nothing else I could do. I went to bed, didn't sleep very long, it was probably about four hours, and then I got up and I checked on him and he was acting pretty much normal again. He was standing normally. I'm gonna insert pictures because I did document pretty much the whole thing. Um, he was standing normal, he was walking around, but he was not using the pedipalp. It was just kind of, just up, like it, it wasn't there, it wasn't moving, it was just meh. So, after, I guess I'd say maybe more around the midday, I caught him and he was grooming, and I'm gonna insert this clip too, but he was moving his pedipalp while he was grooming. So that showed me that possibly he won't lose the pedipalp, because if you didn't know, tarantulas have the ability to drop appendages, legs, pedipalps, um, cut the blood flow off and drop it, and then regenerate it in a couple molts. So that's what kind of was suspected would happen when he wasn't using his pedipalp. Um, but then he started using it again and he's still not using it normally. He's still holding it up slightly, but I do see him moving it more and more. So that kind of tells me he might be healing it. it. It might not get dropped. So we'll see and I'll update you if that happens. But, um, this is just my experience. I know I'm not the first person to do this. I know I'm not the last person to do this. So I wanted to make this video to just kind of document the experience, what I did. Um, every situation is different. Uh, there's no one who can really say that the flowers would stop the bleeding, but it might have helped him from losing more blood. So 
you know, if you ever do come across this situation, try um, flour if you have it, but cornstarch, like I said, is better. And, you know, maybe you'll save your tarantulas. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, good information to know. Always have that something on hand if a situation like this arises. Um, so that's it. Poor little buddy is um, still covered in flour. Kind of looks like he's been making some cookies, but other than that, he's acting pretty normally. And I will show you more of him uh, after this clip. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.